Welcome everybody, my name is Tommy T 9 and this is the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Kills of the Week. We start with last week's winner and your votes gave Moist Tank the top spot from all of the selections last week. Didn't have much joy at the window, moved away, then did this. And this is definitely why he has made it through to the next round in the kill of the month. A quad feed from a single spike. So not only does he move on, he also wins himself a Teach when I'm branded t-shirt, so make sure you get in touch via the comments or Twitter or my email to arrange delivery of that. And if you want to get involved in this series, it is simple, just leave a link to your best clip in the comments below. This could be you next week, plus also you will get yourself a chance of winning a T999 branded I am number one t-shirt. So you're about to see 10 more clips and it's going to be down to you to vote and decide once again down below which your favourite is and which one will move on. Plus, if you've got Modern Warfare Remastered, make sure you send in your best clips for that as well because that series is now up and running. But here we go, Infinite Warfare kills the weak, kill A, it's Smiley Duck, JDM. Nice couple there picked up. Avoids the explosions. Goes to the roof. Mid-range, long-range, short-range, it doesn't matter. He does the business. Next up, it's Kill B, and it's Waleed8980. Full charge. Rips through the enemy team, one by one. Great work. The feed just filled up with Waleed until finally he was taken out. But then, he went and did this. A nice little triple there as well, raining some death. Kill C, this is SofaGrist.com. Kick it off with two, one being a headshot. But then, number three, and four, and five, and six, and just look at the headshot accuracy. All the headshot awards coming SofaGrist's way. Brilliant works, got the ultra kill. And a quick switch up. Yeah, you guessed it. Three more kills, three more headshots. And he's not finished there. There's one more. Warden is now ready. And there is a final kill and a final headshot for good measure. Kill D comes from Ironoid. Ripping through that enemy team. One by one. In a strong position. And Ironoid is definitely the man doing the business. Keeping the streak going. And wiping out every single opponent that gets close to him. Your kill E for this week. And it's A. Al Sufiani. Picks a nice one there to start. Followed by a second here on the Christmassy map. Everyone loves a bit of Christmas spirit, but the only present Al Sufiani wants is top of the leaderboard and a round win. Looking for his next victim, Gus and get him with that one. But then, nice bit of avoidance there. Doesn't get the kill, but does manage to survive, and there are no more enemies to capitalize on taking him down. And when they do show up, yeah. They're both taken out with any means necessary. Bodies lay across the floor. He's got support behind him, so it's time to move on in. Gets two more. And then knows the spawns are going to have switched. They tried the sneaky. Trying to get up behind them. Picks up two of them. Doesn't get sucked in. Picks up a third with another beautiful headshot. Got a bombardment ready. Needs to find the right time to use it though. Can't save his teammate. But he can get another kill. And that will definitely help them get the round win and his MVP rating. Next up, it's Kill F, and this is Eagle Eye 179. It's a beautiful quad feed to kick things off. C. Goes for the reload, but then switches up to get another kill. 
to save his bacon from getting killed himself with that reload. Could have been costly. Gets away with it. Secures C. Picks up another one. Counter UAV is ready. And they get the secure on the point. Heading down to defend B. He gets one more kill for good measure as well. Next up, it's kill G. This is Tommy Slice 1122. Looking to get enough kills to head towards the nuclear. Doing okay so far. 20 kills more required. Called in his drone package. He's got phase shift ready. He's in a strong position here. In comes the package. What is it going to give him? It's a scarab. Doesn't need to use it just yet and picks up three more kills. And a quick 180 gets him two more finally. Merciless is achieved. Looks like they're going to struggle to win this round, but Tommy Slice is doing what he can to turn it round. And go on one almighty streak. Pushing for the victory. Next, it's Kill H. This is Fizzy Rifle. Not the most accurate to start with, but still gets his kills. That's nice. Beautiful pick off there. He didn't see those bullets coming. And then fantastic work picking them off as they spawn in that area in the far corner of the map until finally he is taken down himself. Kill I, it's all about speed, accuracy, and ripping through the enemy team. It's from IMVXN, and he does this. I definitely would want him on my side. And your final choice this week, it is Kill J, and it comes from Oblivion. Nice work there, kicking things off. Defending the point nicely, and then goes on a mission to just pick them off, one by one. In front, behind, to the side, it doesn't matter. Oblivion destroying the whole team, one by one, over and over again. Achieves his Warden in pretty much no time at all. And then carries on. Until finally, the streak does come to its end. So there you go, those are your choices. It's now down to you to vote and decide in the comments below which your favorite is and which one you want to move on to the kill of the month. And if you want to get involved in this series or any of the other series on the channel, just leave a link to your clip in the comments below here or on the relevant video. That's the most recent one for that series. Now, if the Call of Duty Remastered is also a game you're playing, we've got a Kills of the Week series of that started, so get your kills in for that as quickly as possible. And if you want to check out some previous videos, you can. They are linked on screen now, including the Black Ops 3 Kill of the Year for 2016 and the most recent Kills of the Week from Rainbow Six. I've been Tommy Teacher 9 Follow me on social media. All of the links are at the bottom of the screen, and I'll speak to you again in the next one.